Yeah, there's no options yet or anything. It's just this is what we get. So I'm assuming audio and all that just has to wait for a while. It seems to be quiet enough that it's fine. We can either play a game where others may join our session or we play with friends and instantly visit their worlds. So I, I guess play a game, just not multiplayer. Infinite journey, explore and survive in a boundless universe. A survival challenge, more hazards, smaller inventory, increased costs. Permadeath for the tryhards and creative for the people just wanting a decent time. Probably just normal because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Although survival does sound interesting, although with smaller inventory and increased costs, it also seems a bit Space Engineer's um, grindy and annoying. But I think normal for the moment. Calf 2 k I have to work through the VPN for now, so you've ever so slightly ashamed by watching this in parallel. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Nobody minds, right? Inventory limitations are the big thing with that. Well, this runs like ass. I sure wish I had settings. Oh, oh we're okay now. Just like a loading screen type thing, I guess. I thought we were getting like a cinematic intro or so. Begin initialization. Okay. Let's do it. E Corsa? E Sorca? E Sorsa? E Corca? Eco RCA? Perhaps. It's warm here. Oof. 29.3 degrees. It's a bit, bit rad, bit, a bit tox as well. Aerial hey, Darkest Gungeon. Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good one as well. I get to rename everything we find. User mm. The whole ping loot system. First contact. Oh God, why? Ah, uh, the motion blur. Okay, do I get options yet? Thank fuck for that. Ugh. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Sound wise, I mean, how are we okay with sound? Like, seems okay. Video options, full screen. Do we have borderless? There we go. Max FPS, 75 is what I would like. Motion blur amount. Oh. Oh, God. Is there really no other way? Can I have none of it? <laughs> Okay, it does accelerate. Ah, just give me a slider. What the fuck? Vignette and scan lines. Yeah, we'll leave it on for now. Maybe off though down the road. Look, my GTX 1080. Oh. Ah, look and hold right. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. And then other graphics options. Uh. Not the only option we've got. Yeah, okay. We'll rock high. TAA? We'll see. GTAO. Ambient occlusion of some form. GTAO? Ground truth. Ambient occlusion. Okay, I guess. I guess high. I suppose high. We'll see what kind of post-processing we get. I hate the apply. See what kind of post-processing we get, I guess. And then uh, control options. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. The, uh... 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here real quick. It is hostile here with failing hazard protection. Scan to locate survival resources with C. The scanner's actually busted, lol. I need some ferrite dust to repair it. Personal surface radar device releases a high energy pulse, reveals critical survival resources in the immediate area. Terrific. We're gonna die, aren't we? Gather ferrite dust for repairs. I think we got some here. Mining beam top right. Ah, there we go. I was too close, I think. Okay. There's some carbon there. Our field of view is a bit low, it turns out. Bump it up to 86. Ugh. That's better. Okay. All right, dust here as well. First person through Z or X? X? Ugh. I don't know if it's X. Not sure on that. Ugh, okay. General options. Sound effects down a little bit. We'll go with 80. 60, that's the number. So, right click can continue. Repair the scanner with left mouse button, apparently. Ah, oh, yeah, okay from here, sure. That part, right there's the broken part. The general handle. Ugh. Nah. Nah plus, nah. H, O2, nah. H, nah. What am I after here? Sodium. Okay. Oh well. Recharge hazard protection. With sodium. Recharge quick menu or inventory. You cool? You look a bit cute. Offer food. Feed with creature pellets. Do I have creature pellets? Yeah, no, I don't. Looks like fish food. Just rip and tear all the stuff because why not? I apparently need a lot of it. So some more ferrite dice dust for the repairs. We'll keep that going with some sodium. Or sodium plus apparently also works. There, there's some sodium plus. Let's run over to it. I'm going to sprint. Because I'm in a hurry. I don't know what the shaking is. I'm going to ignore it, though. I'm going to pretend it's all okay. I think it's these things exploding. Ugh. Got some oxygen out of it, though. How do I... There we go. Put that away. Advanced mining laser for that. No! Okay. And there's... Deuterium-rich plant. 
a fuel source usually, right? Exosuit system boost. Jetpack power surge detected. Okay. Jetpack power surge fading. Well, that was over quick. It's a bit satisfying mining everything. I wish I wouldn't zoom us in so much though when we do that. I think Faraday dust I might be okay on. Uranium. And scanner recharge. Where do I see recharge? Ah, oh, bottom right. Okay. So I need some more. Some more. Nah. So what was first person? Creatures, vehicles, recharge. Gestures, photo mode. How to first person, toggle camera view. Let's recharge. Toggle camera view. Control one. Oh, about. Oh. Sure. And then our jetpack is space, but we don't have a whole lot of jetpack. That goes pretty quick. Kind of dig in third person. I'm just not a big fan of the mining first person. How close we get. It's okay, little guy. Don't worry. It's not a gun. It's a weak little mining laser that probably doesn't hurt you very much anyway. Gotta get to sodium. That's fair, it does. Uh, what was sodium? There was so ow. There was sodium over here, I thought, right? Oh, just there. Uh. Go. Hello, everyone. Nah. They all seem fairly friendly, I guess. That's a big plant for carbon. Is further away than I expect. What a cool cube. Your ferrite. <laughs> Strange things. Just a nasty, radiated, toxic crab person world. I don't like it.
Analyze crystal fragment with E? Hmm. It went away so fast. Cave. Fragments from inventory. Oh, this stuff. Break it down into usable materials. Sure. I think it turned into dihydrogen. Oh. Radiation it's a big sodium block. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think we're getting in that way. I'm assuming the mining laser I have to repair some more? Or does it like have a reload or... Because it's at 10% now. Oh, well. Wah! Eh? There we go. Good and full. With a bunch to spare. Have we entered the galactic core and met Steve yet? Uh, yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, we pretty much started right there, said hey, left, and uh, we're, at our, we're at our vacation home at this lovely planet now. Can I, like, up the draw distance of this stuff? Was there an option for that? Because stuff pops in so late. Ultra. What? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Restarting the game to apply video settings. What decade is this? Distress beacon iteration number 23948290849249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249
Heavy oozing slime, moving gently as if it has a heartbeat of its own. Put that on my suit, sure. I guess. Some nanites. A lot of nanites. 33 nanites. Okay, our first person field of view is pretty bad. I guess, I guess on foot field of view? What? Uh, f the other setting, surely. You don't mean... Yeah, that's not affecting this, like, at all. That's just affecting... This, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Okay, and what else did we have? Yeah, this main guy. Uh... Broadcast? I guess. Buried technology module 32 micro away. And the main objective? Investigate the crash ship. This guy. Board the crash ship. Okay. Oh, everything's offline. I find myself alone in a strange world, unequipped and in danger. Have no memory of how I got here. No sense of it before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The console controls the exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Let's read the log. Oh. Substituting data? What? Inferring this is just like random garbage that it's gonna say. Okay. Well, repair it then. I need some hermetic seals, one, and one plating. Okay. So, there's also dihydrogen jelly and pure ferrite that I need for repairing launch thrusters, apparently, as well. Need a mix of crafted things, salvaged things, and advanced refined substances. The ferrite dust can turn into the metal plating. We can apparently do that straight away. Ah, and this is like... Unknown things I can do? Yeah, sh sure. But I can't click these. Just these. And these can be... Whatever I want it to be? Right? So I took the It looks like I'm taking out the pulse engine for my inventory and putting it into the metal plating of the ship. This is backwards.
So this is... This is not, like, my inventory. This is just, uh... I don't know. Like a... Like a, a craft listing type thing that's organized like an inventory. My inventory is Exosuit, which is this guy. But there's also... Also things... Here... And this is just... Inventory space I don't... have? Can't... get? Like, why is there one here and one way- why not just one and two? Or why not just a craft button and it throws it wherever? Why the gap? Because I'd like to think that the way it is now like this, like these are all something, but I only know the blueprints for these two unknown things, but I can choose what this square is still. No Mansky. Because adjacency matters. Uh AASG tier 125 months. Didn't you just sub like last week? 25 months still. Thank you very much, ASG. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. Weird. Okay. So I need a, uh, a what now? Need to consult ship diagnostics again. We're going back in. Hermetic seal, right. Help with that. Salvage planetary chart from a distressed bacon cache. Okay. Alright. I appear inside the Bacon's housing. As well as its distress broadcast unit, it contains a planetary chart. So, one, one chart. Okay, how does this get made? With a seal? Highlight the chart. Okay. And then E to plot a route, rather than just clicking it. So this is... I pressed nothing. Can we do that again? <laughs> Okay. I guess, I guess not. Do I have M for map? No? Okay. Okay, so that just... Did kind of a basic scan for me. Hello? Help? Oh, no? Okay. Bye. Okay. I guess we'll go over there. The fuck? This is all so weird. I'm on a weird alien planet with weird alien controls and menus. Reach the mark coordinates. Planetary chart used to plot route. Although not really, you just told me what direction it was. But okay. Is this supposed to be so glowy? I'm gonna say yeah. We have... 
A good amount of sodium still. 45 sodium. So we got like a... What? Well, that sounds garbage. Oh, oh Jesus. Um... Okay. <laughs> I'm actually a sectoid this time. Oh, God. Gonna grab a little more sodium. And more sodium. And more sodium. And oh my god, sodium. Delicious! Rub it on my suit! Carbon. God, is that falling quick. 10.5 rads. If anybody sees a cave, holler. <laughs> if anybody sees anything, holler. What the hell? Oh, a rainbow. Look at that. That's not really how rainbows work, though, but... Okay. Uh. Navigation data. I yeah, sure. I'll take it. I I guess I'm getting that data. Kicking ass. At least this nice plant glows yellow for me, so it's a lot easier to spot. It's just weird seeing the rainbow, like, actually end. Like, I can see where it is touching ground on, on both ends. It's not... Mm. That's okay. EDF! Cat, did you know you get a free sub with Prime? You do get a free sub with Prime. One per month, you gotta manually use it, don't you know? Don't you know? Skydump, thank you very much. You've seen, you've seen that IRL? What, both ends touching ground you've seen? Fraps or it didn't happen. Oh my god, we have a lot of sodium. And then our life support. There was some oxygen in. Jetpack, nothing. So, more oxygen would be... Kind of cool at some point. How far away is that? A bit far away. Okay. We'll... We'll wait and see. Not a rainbow scientist, a rain, a, a rainbowologist, a hollow archive, a first aid, health at maximum. Okay, if you say so. Six out of seven locks corrupted. Oh. Wow, static, that actually kind of, sort of makes sense. Usually it's just like, I hope this message gets out to some somebody. What? It's not actually interrupting you at all. <laughs> all right, sure. Something in the fabricator may be useful. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. Okay, well, it was doing okay. Lock finishes and the machine works to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal. I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Are there... 
Are there like, cause I know this is supposed to be like the whole universe in this is actually like kind of sort of one big multiplayer thing, I think, right? Are there like little loot bacons that other players leave behind like Subnautica where it just throws in just, here's a, here's a supply pot of stuff that some player left behind or something. This is plot stuff then. Oh, okay. I thought this would maybe be like a little tutorial for, hey, that's a thing that could happen. Okay, it's just insane plot convenience that may as well have just been something that I craft then. Okay. Oh, jeez, I'm all tuckered out. Let's have a sit. Ah, oh, comfort. Yeah, nice and relaxed. Okay, back out into the shithole of a planet. Some demagged machinery. It needs some facium. A foul smelling compound that can be harvested from the gut rot flower, or less desirably from the fecal matter, fecal matter maybe, of some species. Creatures can be fed to encourage the formation and deposition of Bakium crystals. It's little poop rocks, I guess. Okay. Uh. But it's in the exosuit, I guess. Hi. That can't be comfortable. Oh, right, and the mining laser thing? Could we do anything with that? I guess not. Because we have just like 10% mining beam left, and I'm a bit nervous about using that last 10%. <laughs> hmm. Okay. X menu to recharge it? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, mining beam. just carbon. So why is it not in here, the mine laser? Since hazard and life are here. Just, just cause. Oh look, a cave! Let's go into it. I'm sure it's safe. Subterranean relic, a vortex cube. Okay. Yeah, I'll take those. Multi tool tab. Oh, over there. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, fine. You wire it to a new slot. But for now, there's nothing because I don't have any, like, technologies or modifications or anything like that. Well, it seems safe. I don't know. What a nice place. I think we'll build our home here. Huh. 
pathetic, disgusting creatures. So what even are these? Do we know? Cargo. Uh, vortex cubes. Just a trading thing, I guess. Unearthed from the depths of a planetary cave system, surface is cold to the touch and curiously polished despite its age. A fusion of metal and rock. Okay. Fine, it's a collector thing. A fusion of metal and rock with a bit of jazz. Oh, what? Well. Hi. Get fucked! Jesus, what's your range like? What the hell? <sighs> man, oh man. Marrow bulbs. Bleh. A glowing organic bulb harvested from cave marrow plant growing underground. Proved resistant to domestication and no formable cultivars are known to exist. As such, it must be harvested by hand in the wild. Okay. Guess I'll get some. Is it these? No. I thought I was mining. Ah. I thought I was mining the stalagmites. Okay. Okay, and that's a hazardous shits again. I'll be over here. You do that over there. I'll be over here. Awful sack and more dite. More dite, more like more dead. Ah! Stupid peaceful things die. Yeah, I'll take some awful sacks and more dite. I don't know why, but I'll take it. Cobalt. Take that too. I don't care. It's mine. Offer food, offer laser. I hope they like laser, because that's what they're eating. A lot of cobalt here. Was there anything... super interesting here? Not really. And I think our scanner can only pick up like really basic stuff anyway. Take these guys for the action for our life support. Still works out. Guess I'll get this going. Carbon nanotubes. Mm-hmm. Craft carbon nanotubes. I need more carbon. Okay. Okay, well look, there's some carbon here. And then multi-tool, the visor, the tubes.
e spirituguarima. Zoomed out. And what about these nasty things here? Yeah, you too. Come here. Leoladagima. How close do I gotta be for the scan? Oh, what? Hello? Okay, I guess I just don't scan those. Age, millennia. Mm. Nutrient source, fermented corpses. Okay. <laughs> Strange diet. Not just corpses. Fermented corpses. <laughs> sure. What about you? Fungal reclamation. Notes. Haunted nests. Haunted nests? So I'm analyze objects for words locate scar starship. Yeah, got it. I did that. Locate starship. Return to starship, continue repairs, use the compass and analysis visor to navigate. Yeah, um, cave. There's out. Weather nice and happy out here. Nitrogen fixation. Mist based defenses. Digs for tubers. Notes. Frequently lost. Knowledge acquired. <laughs> oh man. What a trip Subnautica was. A tip to make traveling long distances on foot more bearable, perhaps. So you mentioned a jetpack thing. Yeah, what you got for me? That one I can scan. Stinging fruit. Nutrient sources. Infrared radiation. How does that work? By melee and then quickly jetpack after it gives me a lot of forward momentum. How do I melee? Q. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like a a superhero thing. I'm flying. I'm taking off like Superman. Let's go to space. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't think I mined through like that. That's wild. Okay. It's, uh... A bit tricky the timing, but that's okay. 
What a fun thing this is. Hi. Age. Regenerating. Carnivorous. Insect habitation. Nah. Jetpack power surge. No. Uh, no. No. Ah. That was almost worth it. <laughs> so what about this big guy up here then? What do we call you? Stonalnay. Easily confused. It eats rotting fruit. It's elderly is its age. Okay. Bitchite. Trench names on this stuff. Ah! Fall damage confirmed. So what's the word? Repair the pulse engine. Inventory repair items with left click. Yeah, yeah. Pulse engine needed. Right, the seal. And then the launch thruster. Pure ferrite in the dye hydrogen jelly. Pure ferrite, though, I needed a better minor four. I believe. Construct portable refiner to process pure ferrite. Okay. I mean, we can throw in the jelly now. And yeah, so exit ship. Refiners transform simple materials. Refined materials hold more charge. Advanced technologies require them. Okay. So for the portable refiner, I'm going to need a metal plating. So there's that. And also oxygen. Okay. Is it one of these menus? Just wondering where this refiner is going to be made at. More oxygen, though. Yeah, sure, fine. I need to increase my life support anyway. So, oxygen is okay. Hey! Oof. Bunch of O2 over here. No, oh, yeah, look at that. Bunch of it, like right there. It even glows red. Ugh, camera, camera, please.
Ugh. Okay. Uh, life support more. Cool. Build menu with Y. Yeah, okay. The Y. Yeah, sure, here. Minimal button to pick up. Fuel inverter. Okay. Carbon or condensed carbon to charge it. Yeah, sure. Have some carbon. God, you can take a lot. And we put in the... What were we making? Ferrite, right? Yeah, pure ferrite. So some ferrite dust goes in. And then pure ferrite can come out. Okay. So, ferrite, which... I think it was, like, kind of everywhere? Take that, bitch, yike. Yeah. Also some uranium. Mm. Eh? Mm. So how much do we need here? I'm not sure. Make, uh, 30, I guess. Is that 50? Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, 50. Eh, fuck it. Just do them all. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at it go. What a thing. Alright. Get that in my exosuit. You're coming with me. Or just being completely demolished? No, okay, we got it. Repair it, repaired. See, Ken says I'm with the stars W to take off. I did it. Oh, there we go. So, uh, question though. Oh, okay. It's a Euc Euclid galaxy, this one. I discovered it. it has flight controls and thrust. Yeah, I got that. Shit! It's quick, man. We're going thousands of what? Uh, thousands of you per second. Go, oh. Christ. Okay, flight mouse sensitivity needs to be up like a bit. <laughs> Anything at all, really. It's so low right now. Uh, control options. That'd be the good one. Flight sensitivity. Let's up this to like... 35 and vibration strength. Maybe just... 4? I, I don't know. Bring up some mouth smoothing too a little bit, okay? And was there... Was there a third person for this? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. And it just holds the speed that I'm going currently. It doesn't like automatically decelerate or something like that. And uh, pulse engine space. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, some of these rocks probably killed me, right? That seems unsafe. I'm funny name. Whoops. I wanted to change my camera, but I pressed two, whatever that was. Broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Okay, put them in. Okay, so there's there's that nasty shithole that we were on. Disgusting place. Are we stopped? I need to sort of have it close enough, I guess. Is there a way to unlock these turning controls so that I can like look around a little bit? I guess it'd be the flight control change that because there's something about tethered or not. Had the normal locked normal? Locked inverted. About locked normal. What's that like? Oh. Well. Oh. Okay. Yeah, sure, so I don't have that weird thing. Yeah, you know what? That that works okay. But then let's drop the sensitivity a little bit more. 27. Just a little bit different. Okay. Signal source, arrive in two weeks. Okay, well, let's get going. <clears throat> Probably use the spacebar thing. Um, X recharging stuff. I mean, yeah, ish. What's it take to recharge you? Uranium. Yeah, sure. Um, unlocking my view so I can like look around inside. Is there a way to do that? Or alternatively, if I'm in this view, can I just like hold on a button to spin the camera around so I can see the front of my ship? So I can more easily look around and see what's around. Hey, how you doing, Wax? Yeah, first time playing this. Yeah, we're, we're an hour into it now. Whoa, and already in space. Much better pace than Empyreon. A webbed planet? Oh god. Called Ripe New. Okay. Um, control options. Bring it down a little bit more. I feel like that didn't help any. Okay, well, let's, I guess, head toward this webbed planet? Still takes a minute, don't it? I'm sure this looks great. Yeah, I'm assuming the bitrate is, uh... <laughs> not keeping up. At all. Wiki says alt. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, Jesus, hi.
Decelerate. More. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. Wow. But then if I let go of alt. And it's only only so much. But then when I let go of alt, it just turns the ship toward where it was. Where I was just looking. Oh, man. Okay. Pew pew pew. Oh, hey, look at that. Titanium and silver and stuff. We're doing it. I'm mining. I really like the King of Retail series. It's a really Yeti type of game. Yeah, right? That's the exact thing that I got when I saw it. I was like, I have to play this. Titanium hyperclusters. Platinum. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell it is. I'm taking it though. So what happens when this gets maxed out? Does it like have to do a cooldown thing? Yeah, overheat. Okay. Okay, guys, get ready for bit rate hell. Let's go. Jesus, stop. Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> Holy shit. Entering atmosphere. Not sure what could web an entire planet, but you're pretty sure you don't want to run into it? Well, I'm here to find out. to land. Found that out by just pushing buttons before and was like, dog, we can't do that here. All right, let's take a look. Restore point, save wet planet. Memories of frost is the weather, apparently. Irregular patrols, flores from elsewhere and stuff. Okay, very interesting. New planet discovered. Press escape to upload and rename. Discoveries. Look at that. Conflict level high. Power generation struggling economy. Dominant life form are Viking. There's one fauna here, apparently. <gasps> what do we call it? We can call it whatever we want, I think. And there's a lot of space for it, too. Who wants it? Reminiscent of the biomass? Oh my god, it is a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Just Krug. This, this planet is Krug. New Krugistan. <laughs> New... Krugistan. I mean, it seems like a bit of a shithole, but alright, New Krugistan. We got 10 nanite clusters for naming it, apparently. Yeah, 
barbarite dust. Formation process localized black hole. Industrially valuable. Okay. And this? Wooodwoodne. Or so. Vectorized gender. Behavior long distance migration. It eats tall grasses. Sweet milk. Oh, sweats milk for infants, not sweet milk for in infants. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. No more long grasses for you, guy. But hey, action. Cool. We can name all the things that we scan. Oh God, I'm not creative enough for that. Wait, this is moving? Oh, well, kind of. Okay. Kansanite, ground up shells, barite dust, carbon. Okay. Interesting. What's so webbed about this planet, though? When I thought webbed, I thought. Well, not this. Pretty sure that I actually crashed into the surface. The shooting whatevers. Land here. Got shooting stars, it's got a cave thing. Some sweet root. Nom nom nom. What is sweet root? Ah, oh, there it is. Just the thing that I can do things with. Just a sort of ravine type thing. Launch thruster is out, I think. Need some more uranium for launch thrusting. We had a bit of uranium. Um, already, we only had like eight or nine though. Already used it. Big 
Bit right hell. Uh, it's still terrifying. <laughs> it's still really scary hurtling myself toward a planet at that kind of speed. Don't suppose any of you guys would be uranium, right? Decent bit of silver. So, for the launch thruster thing... Starship launch fuel. Created from crystallized dye, hydrogen, and blue deposits on all worlds. Okay. So, in theory, I should be able to make that. I need a metal plating, which required ferrite dust, which I can easily get. So we're... Uh. Pepper gold sodium. I mean, oh yeah, that'll have also... This will also have ferret on it. It doesn't say it, but I think that's because ferret is just everywhere. So I think we're still okay. Boy, that's going to be a hot re-entry. Don't think it matters. Uh, there it goes. The hell's that sound? Nice. We made it. Uh, it's still a little bit loud sometimes with the, uh, the whole flying and, and all that stuff going on. Burning through the atmosphere. I just wanted to slow down, but it was stuck at 20 for a while. And then we suddenly went reverse. What the hell? Okay, just land. Ugh. 62 toxicity, great. What a lovely place this is. Toxic, damp, remote, abundant flora. Oh, terrific. Hi, guys. Hello. Okay, critical exposure in some time. Right, and toxic protection is just the hazard thing, which is sodium, which I don't have a whole lot of anymore. I'll have to keep an eye out for more sodium. Alright, dust and ammonia. Nico Styite. Bam. So much unidentified stuff here. <sighs> so 
So, can I transfer to the ship inventory my stuff? Like this? E. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat one of these. Metal plating and then launch fuel. Just one. Is that a lot? Oh, yeah, it is actually. That's quite a lot. Okay. And then try TM with a pulse engine. So that's good and happy now. There's no issues at all whatsoever with anything regarding that. I do, however, need more. Never mind, I have a load of sodium. Why is it only saying nine? I've got so much of it there. Okay, so we're totally fine with like all the things ever. Ugh, you. Just stop it. So we're heading where? An A plus. There's an objective out that away. There were structures around here somewhere though, I thought. Let's head up over here. Yeah, it, it could be that that is the structure. They were pretty close. These are some big peas. No, oh, it's easily startled. What the Christ is that? Dead is what it is. Welcome to Earth. So back to you because it wants me to fly a bit closer. Ugh. It's so jerky flying. Like, hello? Stop? Reverse? Or don't, I guess? I'll just turn around instead. Ugh. 
distracted. It's lights in a cave. I gotta check it out. Oh, it's cave marrow again. And this wild thing. Cobalt. Okay, cool cave. In earlier versions of the game, you could not close to the surface at all. The game would automatically steer you up again. You had to land from really high up. Oh. That'd be a... That'd be kind of annoying. Behavior. Unafraid. Highly observant. Valuable blood, apparently. No, no, no. Okay. Rah. Well, if your blood is valuable, I mean... A lot of more date from that. Am I too far away from this to, uh... Yeah, I think so. Hell yeah, I'm killing it. Jeez. Atlas passive V1 for that. But these little boxes... These we could open. But let's... Quickly into the ship. More Mordite. And... Some fancy carbon, I guess. And the vortex cubes. Back off, man. They're my boxes. Sodium. So, a lot of sodium. Okay. Can send with a single button instead of swapping every time? Also? I got a geode to open as well. Okay. Sparking wires of the machine generate a signal, tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Let's read it. Base computer. And a terrain manipulator. Hot damn. Okay, let's do it. When plays, contacts Universal Cartographic Archive to establish ownership of land. Successful registration allows the construction of base modules across any site of the user's choosing. I need 30 chromatic metal, though. Good morning, Yeti. Hope everything is good. Hey, how you doing, Gregor Hanston? Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. And the terrain manipulator overloads existing multi-tool systems, allowing the user to reshape regions as they wish. Two nettle tubes and a dihydrogen jelly. Okay. So what do we got with the geode? Oh, uh, yeah, geode. Uh, analyze. Ooh. 
Frickin' Moron with a gift sub, gifted 30 thus far on the channel. Grats on that. It's gone to Sarcophagi. No, Sacrophagi. 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 Why is it. Why is it spelled wrong? <laughs> Thank you, frickin' Moron. Much appreciated. And uh, Gregor Hansen, man, 20 months. Thank you very much for that. A little bit of little bit of salt we've got too. Bam, done. Settled, handled. Uh quick transfer, I think is the button you mean, right? But the ship is now full. So there's that. Okay. Um other stuff to loot and examine. Not sure. Train manipulator mission in the log. Mine copper requires a train manipulator. Okay. So, log. Train manipulation. Dihydrogen jelly, carbon nanotubes, construct it, yeah, yeah. Allows mining valuable ores, yeah, yeah. Inventory, install, train manipulator. But I need the jelly and stuff. Yo. So dihydrogen for that, scan. There's a bit of it around here. Humming sack. Album and pearl. Oops. Oh, uh, sure. It's a trading trading thing. Okay. Okay, I've got them. So, where was... Ah. Loads of it here. Whoa. Jesus. Criminy. <laughs> that melee, that can, uh, that can kill. All of the hydrogen ever. Oof da. Okay. So, uh, a jelly, a tube, and then yeah, it's too far away. Head back to the ship and drop those off. Oh, well. uh. no free stocks in ship inventory. inventory full. But didn't I have some in the ship? What do you have? Oh, they only stack to five, don't they? Oh. Well, that's stupid. Can I plop this down? Fuck that I How do I put this down? Ah why? There we go. 
Okay. So, fuel inverter, I have to... A little bit, I guess. Um... Just a gemstone type thing. What all can we output? Do we know? Like, if I were to put these in, they're a trade thing, I know, but... Yeah, no, we have no idea. Okay. Uh, we'll leave that down for now. The train manipulator needed another carbon nanotube, but that requires more carbon. Carbon, which I've thrown in for fuel, but we can get more. That's okay. Pretty fun blowing these up. I like how it gets stronger as it, uh, as it uses like more power and all that. That's a healthy thing. Why are you so healthy? Oh my god. Okay. So, poop. And then... Multi-tool manipulator. That, and that. Da-da-da-da! Whoa. Switch Alt, switch G. Ah. Restore, mine, create, flatten. We'll leave that at mine, but then switch to the mining beam. Okay. Cool. Nice. Journey milestone accomplished. I did a thing. We've traveled 8,000 micro. Oh. So now what? Gather copper. Train manipulated with G. Analysis visor to locate deposits. Right. Right, yeah, that, that does more than just C does, doesn't it? Let's... Tag a buried cache. I got a big inventory problem though right now, I think. Like, um... Nutrient processor. Is that a thing I can build currently? Don't think so, right? Like, uh... I'm kind of thinking the food things I just throw out. Because I don't really want slash need it. Like we don't, we don't eat. It seems. We don't. We don't need to do that. I'm gonna th throw them out. The vortex cube, twenty nine thousand. It's not a whole. Well, that's a decent amount apparently. I mean, these are forty five thousand. Fucking hell. I like these. Living seeds. Lo loosened grains of potential life. Whoa. Toxic damage detected. Oh, uh, right. There you are. You shush. And that is another nutritious meat type thing. Okay. We'll see about that for now. And the refinery 
Oh, I leave there. This isn't too far away. We can go on foot. Whoa! Such a weird thing. Lamb. Nothing to scan. A damaged stabilizer. One of them. Jade Peas. Silver Deposit. Buried Technology Module. Silver Ammonia. A lot of... A lot of friggin' silver here. Okay, there's some copper out there as well. Cargo drop. Debris. My stuff. Another buried cache. Well, let's take a look at the Bray technology module. Curious about that. Try to see what everything in inventory refines. The, um, the pearls didn't refine. That's kind of the only thing that I tried. The other stuff I didn't really try because I don't know how to unrefine something. And I might not want it refined. Especially since I can't mine more refined stuff. And the stack is is pretty high. So I'd end up having, like, a stack of refined stuff alongside a stack of non-refined stuff. And it would get to be a bit, eh. A lot of ships flying around around here. Back in hell. Look how close we are to this planet. <laughs> it's a little bit scary, isn't it? Jeez, just put a big nasty mean face on there and give me two days. There we go. What was I after? It was marked at one time. Natural burial site. That's just a buried cache. Knowledge stone. Ah, buried technology module. There it is. Oh, hi. Uh, also a cache. A bent solidifier. And some salvaged data. A hundred thousand units, fifty thousand per. Salvageable heart of some ancient technology, upgradable. Un unreadable in its current form. I can read. Used to research new construction blueprints at a construction research thing. Okay, and the... this stuff... I can break down. Some platinum. And magnetized ferrite. Ferrite plus plus. Get a load of that guy. What a fancy thing that is. ooh -ah. Than a knowledge stone. What the crap is a knowledge stone? Oh. <sighs> Didn't hurt nearly as much as it probably should have. Do I enjoy the general graphic style as visuals of the game? Haven't seen that much yet. Um, so far I'm kind of okay with it. It's a lot of like recolored stuff. Like this is unidentified, but we've definitely seen this already. <laughs> But no, 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 this one's different because it's a different color. Eh. <laughs> um. Oh, 
that's okay so far. But that web planet was like very different and strange. That was quite cool. Memory of the Viking. Turpak, 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 yig, yig, yig. Okay. A sound fills my mind. Vision begins to take shape. See two large aliens locked in combat. Eventually one triumphs, leaving their victim to bleed to death. With the loss of their strength, the vanquished alien gestures towards me. Sure. Sure. The name Vikeen floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. I've learned the Vikeen word for Vikeen. That's... Thanks, I guess. Cool. Nice. Alright. <laughs> we know what they call themselves, I guess. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toxic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nasty. I know it. I could bind, like, Control-3 or something to actually... Let's, let's do that real quick. Um, X, Recharge, Hazard. Control-3. There. Done. So now I can just... Control-3. F. And it's done. Look at that. I like this. Th that That's cool. Just like, here's a quick menu thing that you can bind stuff to. That's fucking nice. I like that. Hello. You okay, little guy? Behavior. Constantly moving. Cannot digest starch. Look at its constant movement. I've learned the homo sapien word for homo sapien. It's homo sapien. Okay, cool. <laughs> the hell. Bungo clusters. There was copper over here, wasn't there? I thought I saw some. Ammonia deposit, silver deposit, buried mineral formation. Mm -hmm. Plenty of stuff to look and see and do and and all that. Glowing mineral. G. Though its surface is dirtied and dull, polishing this rock reveals a deep inner glow, a glitter beneath a subtly iridescent surface. Crack it open! It's Dirty Bronze. A popular metal alloy with a wide variety of uses, Dirty Bronze has shed its scientific name in favor of the popular term for its color, crafted from pure fer ferrite and pyrite. Okay, what's that doing underground? That's odd. Okay. Was there copper on New Kregistan? Ah, uh... I don't know how to look at that planet, but there is on this planet definitely some copper. I thought there was some in this direction, but might be in the wrong direction. Cargo drop. Atlas Pass, oh, but there's still these guys. Condensed Carbon. And I think also Condensed Carbon. Elven Shine. Okay. Yeah, I got that second one. Oh, 
Ammonia, silver, silver, copper deposit. About a thousand of you out that away, though. There you go, 253. That's a bit better. Because I think the basic scan only shows me, like, the basic surface flora for the bare bones basic minerals and stuff that are everywhere. Um. I gotta look around at the F menu for, like, the real stuff. It's all dihydrogen. Do I need more? More diet? Where'd I get you from? Get rid of this. What I kill recently? Not sure. Uh, only 13 dihydrogen. Yeah, I could use some more. Okay. Also this stuff. Cashite. Eh. <laughs> Terai dust and also ammonia. It's cool that there's like a second hidden thing that these have that becomes revealed after you scan. Oh hey look, copper. That's a bit obvious. Sodium N. Life support will also. Oxygen N. Tons of oxygen we still have. Tons of oxygen. Um, let's put... Can't, can't switch these? Okay. I'd like to. Um, carbon can head up there by the salt. Set of salt, rather. I guess that's okay for now. Try to put, like, the basic stuff up. Together. Ah. Uh, gee. Valheim, step the fuck back. We got a new copper mining method. Holy shit. What the Christ? I mean, I may as well get all of it, right? God damn, what's this, what's what's like stack size maximum? Stuff goes so high. 466 we have here. Does it go to like thousands? What a hole we made. And if I were to create, I can select different minerals and stuff, like rock. RNT to change size. This doesn't cost anything.
500 for these into the suit should be higher on the ship. 500 on hard mode here, it's around 10,000 per stack. Oh my god. Okay. So, plenty. Roger. I'll, uh... I'll do a little more ripping and tearing then, I guess. Because I can. <laughs> I did not know. Trying to keep the laser a bit hot. At least for these things. Carbon and oxygen, need them both. Well, oxygen, not so much. Carbon, I need a little more of, though. How are we doing now? 533, 411. Okay, quite all right. Sodium. Ish. And the silicate powder can be created in the glass. All right, good news is I think we uh, just need some ferrite dust. And we'll have like basically everything. Because I've got pure ferrite that I cannot break down. Same with the magnetized ferrite. That just uh, is what it is. Where's the basic ferrite? Does anybody see my basic ferrite? Am I just that blind? I don't think I'm full of it. We have 38 of 50. Cargo? Oh, what's... Cargo. What's my cargo tab? Oh, okay. Cardo has double stack size. Is that like a like a cool backpack type thing then? Shredding it. Okay, we got a little bit to work with now. And, like, if I wanted some real ferrite, there's not going to be, like, an underground iron deposit or anything like that. Ammonia, copper, copper, silver. Yeah, it's just ammonia, copper, and silver. You can also track ancient bones. Looks like a wireless signal. The fungal mold we can find through this. Buried mineral found, uh, formation. We'll take a look at that quick. Need to make a little bit more room in the inventory, but I can throw out stuff. I think I throw out this one pearl. Am I standing on it? Oh, I'm standing on it. Oh. Ah. Gee, damn it. Ah. All right. Uh, salt. Four salt, don't think I can do a lot with that. Magno gold. 
highly prized and lustrous alloy, popular with traders of all known galactic races. Crafted from ionized cobalt and phosphorus. Neat, I guess. So, right, we're making a portable refiner. Metal plating. And then oxygen. And then through the build menu. But let me head over towards that ship again. Because we also have a portable crafter over there and everything. If I can find par, par off neum deposits, it refines into FE. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Oh, you guys are so big and shaky and stuff. Drifter traveled 10, 10 Ks. Look at us go. That's a lot of Ks. Jetpack depleted. Oh yeah, well, that's fine. So build a what were we building? Chromatic mineral, just refining. Okay, and we refine copper. Well, like all of it. Chromatic metal, fusion of heart and star. Uh, use just to make, just to make chromatic metal, it seems. All right, shit, why not? We'll, um... Yeah, I mean, all of it, but I need more, more fancy fuel. So there you go, have some fancy fuel. Oh, this is all we can make. Uh, two per. Okay, never mind. They remove slow mo when a milestone is reached? Ugh, that'd be really annoying. Just doing your own thing, it's like, hey, Gratz, you did a thing! And it's just like, no, let me play! <laughs> so, base. Computer. Portable land registration surface. So when I place it, it registers me owning this land. So I can make base modules across any site of the user's choosing. Well, okay. Here we are, on the side of a quite steep hill. I could also pick it up though, thankfully. I mean, I guess. I don't really like this planet, but sure. Search archives with terminal. Storms sweeping across, but construction supplies low. Dis depositing shelter plans while need to back soon. Yoink. And I got a couple things I can research more, I think. A wooden wall with 25 carbon? Gross. Okay.
As my base grows, grant access to many advanced technologies, construct bases as shelter from harsh environments, expand it by earning new construction blueprints, return to base to store and process items as you explore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Build foundations from wooden floor panels. Build many with wood. Yeah, okay, here we are. So yeah, technologies, the base stuff, portable. Farming, a flora containment to beautify my base. Also some wooden stuff with dormants and lights. Okay, wooden though, sure. Wooden wall, wooden panels, wooden roof. Wooden door. Can I first though... Flatten? Jesus Christ, this thing is ridiculous. What the fuck? <sighs> okay, well, this planet is like... <laughs> this is so screwed. I mind that out a little bit more and... A little bit more. Give it a little bit of shape. Is demand around? You still kicking around out there, demand? Look, we're making a cave. We're doing it. Because I'm a bit of a cave boy, too. Um, restore. But we'll make it small. And then back to flat. Okay. <laughs> the man cave. The man cave, yeah. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. So carbon though, yeah, I got a bunch of carbon, so we can actually do this a bit. Um <sighs> It's a bit odd doing it in here, but eh. So wood floor panel. I can also change its color if we want. We want that? Yeah, okay. And then some walls. We want that first. And I want... more panels. Wait. Ah, mouse wheel also works. It's nice that it actually, like, has a floating snap point for you, so you can just look at that and be like, yeah, I want it there. Okay, and then, uh, what now? Search buildings for valuable materials and data. Oh, okay, back to the base computer. Sure, shouldn't we, like, make a roof, though, or so? Ugh. Fucking gross out there, man. What the hell? Decoration. Lights. Look at that. My god. It does require power, though. Figured it would. Toxic rain, what's next? Solar ecl eclipse? Is it Mermeld in first person? Well, God, I fucking hope not. I got a mountain base going on. Ugh. Oh. <clears throat> a 
little flag. Yeah, no, that's okay. I go build camera with C. Scale and rotate. Oh. Oh. There we go. Well, this is pretty handy. Does the roof have to look like this though? Can't it just look like... Or is it automatically connecting? No, I don't know about that. Okay, but hey, it's a work. these guys coming from oh goddamn heard of them peaceful they eat fungal clusters they spray ink when scared well good for them they need to go away look there's a little babby one too get a load of that one look it's so confused it doesn't know what to do Additional subterranean devices beginning search. Okay, let's do it. Can keep them as a pet? Ugh. Can I like chain them to a wall and get free ink then? I'll sell, I'll sell ink pens and stuff across the galaxy. We just won't tell them that we're chaining them to the walls and milking them. Okay. Construction research unit. Magnetized ferrite and a nanotube. Well, that's nice. Because all I need to do then... Is this food? Hydroponics tray can be farmed. What do I do with you, though? We don't know. Mm. Like, these things sell so well. I have a metal plating. I'm not sure why I have just some random metal plating sitting around. But yeah. Uh, expand construction blueprints to get buried technology. There are new ones power the base with to enable advanced technology. Teleporters instantly return to base during travels. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna discard that. Because I need to make a nanotube. I crafted it to make a second refiner. Did I? a bit of room so I can pick up these guys as well. Right 
Oh, we just had this toxic rainstorm incoming. Uh. Right. Why? And that just has to stay there, I guess. <laughs> okay. Hundred and four tox, man, what a thing. Ugh. Salvage data, yeah, yeah, yeah. Research buildable technology, I guess. Teleport module. Okay, what else do we have? Aha. Uh -huh. Wooden shelters, metal structures, concrete shelters, core habitation tech. Oh, this is just scrolls. Because there's a teleporter again. Well. Sodium nanotubes plating, pretty easy. But wouldn't this need power? Okay, this leads to a reactor as well. Okay, sure, we'll go for it then. Hype. Multi-tool. Mining beam. Recharge that. Terrain manipulator. I can use silica powder for that? Hell yeah. That's just dirt, basically. Just got that from mining the ground around the minerals. So what are we doing now? Looking for the buried whatevers? Can do that. If not on this planet, then a different one. So yeah, the little... Little Wi-Fi signals and stuff like that. That's what we're after. But I think I take a quick break, just a few minutes, get a little bit of water. Hey, how you doing, Deman? Welcome back. Look, we're in a cave, Deman. I made a little cave. <laughs> it's it's a house in a cave. It, it looks like shit, but the game needed me to build walls for tutorial reasons, so I did that. But hey. It's a cave. <laughs> I'll be back in like two, three minutes or so. Can we just like... Manual save. Oh. Okay. Um. Well. We can just sit here and stare out, I guess. Anything fun happened while I was away. I got a title, yet either robust. Hype. So. Any crap weather going on? No, we're okay. And as far as life support and all that goes, that's, that's all okay. Yeah, generally. It is a bit more oxygen. And what do we have on the ship? Toxic protection. 
the ammonia, I guess we can just have. Mm. Rusted metal. Junk. I'm sure I can refine this, right? Gotta be something I can do with it. Yeah, ferrite dust. Okay. Have some fancy carbon. And also some carbon. Go. Cool. And there we go. Basic light source. Oh. So that's that. Navigation data we're hanging on to. Is there like a, like a chest I can make for storage or what's the what's the word with that? Health station electrical wiring is safe bacon signal booster. Hmm. Not really looking like it at the moment. Okay. So the... All this is just like kind of fancy stuff. Fungal mold, I don't think I really need. These I'd like to sell, but honestly I don't really care too much about them. Okay. To the modules. I'm sure we get something or like a uh, even just a storage extension type thing on our suit or base or ship or something like that. I'm sure we get at some point. That was something different. Oh well. <laughs> wow. Probably need to acquire in the player hub or from base quest progression. Hey, doing Pac Man, good morning. Okay. <laughs> totally legit. Look, it's either that or I like mine out a ramp. Mine. One data. Okay. Next. Guess I'll take a look at the natural burial site and see what that is. But I guess we take a look at the buried module along the way. Deep Rock Galactic. <laughs> we, we could go Deep Rock Galactic with this, maybe. Just, like, mine through the whole planet. I don't know if there'd be anything down there, if there's any point to doing that. Oh, well. Jesus. 
Jesus. One data and the cash. Hey, another data. Oh, uh, species record also, apparently. Okay. Okay. So the natural burial blah. Health restorative. In the ground? Not sure about that. Ah, there we are. Oops. Um <clears throat> nothing happened. Transferable root structure. Autotrophic nutrient source. It's got a spongy coating. It's mostly carbon. Fascinating. To the damaged machinery then. Slowly working away over to that natural whatever. Wasn't anything down there, I just felt like digging down, you know? I'm like a dog, I just gotta sometimes dig. I get bored. Residual goop. Pulsating foul smelling. Builds up in poorly maintained machinery. Skin tent contact is not advised. The high capacity inventory. Oh. 28 nanites, yeah. And that is what the cargo was. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to discard that because I don't really care. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next. Look at all the wildlife here. The whole village. Be gone. Punched it right in the butt. Ancient bones. Chipped bone fragments. Approximately 489 years old. Most of the skeleton has been lost to time, only a very few bones, remarkable in size, remain to tell the story of this creature's living existence. Total value, 110,699. Wow. Okay. So those are worth investigating. <laughs> Ooh. 
There's also... Subterranean organic structure and a buried cache. A knowledge stone. Maybe it teaches me ancient Prothean knowledge. I saw... I don't know what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Alright, get out of my cool superhero jetpack moves. That's what happens. The Viking word for interloper. Ow! Look here, you shit. I'm gonna manipulate your terrain. Got in the way of my cool moves, and you have the audacity to walk up and slap me. I can't even hold your stupid garbage. May that be a lesson to you all. Hang on. <clears throat> so... There's another natural burial site that away. I'm sure the bones stack, right? Bunko cluster, buried caches, and all that. So maybe we grab that grouping of stuff over there, and then we start circling back and uh, drop off a bit, yeah? There was a game from like the late 90s, early 2000s. I'm not really sure. It was a kind of like an isometric open world exploration game type thing. But there were these species that would have like their own randomly generated uh, dictionaries and you would just learn some of the words as you played through and progressed. So you could kind of translate what they were saying over time. Kind of what this reminds me of a bit. A tricky operation here this come on par one site move inventory full. inventory full oh oh we processed this I mean I knew that more nanites oh is nanites life support gel mmm Actually, running a little bit low on sodium. Bam. Okay. Have to keep an eye out for uh, a little more of that then. Sound design's pretty okay in this overall. Things make noises. They're different noises. They're diverse noises. They don't sound too bad. They're a bit strange, a bit weird, but still, you know, something believable. Oh yeah, jetpack power surge, right. I totally knew that was a thing. Are you different? You got different hair. Or was it you with different hair? Where'd you go? Yeah, you. It's an adult. Intermediate. Elderly exotic gender. Oh, look at you. Wow. Exotic gender. It's 
seeing the glow of a nasty toxic shitstorm planet out there. There's a few here, it looks like. Lamb. What? You don't stack. Okay. Okay, Fungal Mold, you're out of here. You're gone. Album and Pearls even. Oh, this one's different. Oh, yeah, because they have different ages. Oh, get a load of that. Oh, and there's actually multiple there. Intriguing Bones, apparently. New title, Yeti the Bones. What a title. Hey, 420 years old. Ah, <laughs> don't don't smoke these bones, please. They're expensive. 112,406. Nice. Um Yeah, fuck it to these things. I don't really care about them. Bones are bones are the future. Intriguing skeletal fragments. Yeti the Bone sounds like a Diablo RNG boss name. Um, yeah, kind of a little bit, yeah. Okay, I guess that was, it was just like, it's a one big skeletal plate, I guess, underground or something. Or maybe not. Imperfect bone fragment. 253 years old. A mere 80,000. Okay. So, uh, we got inventory problems, though. Can make a bong out of it, a bone bong? <laughs> but I have to throw it out next year, though, is the problem. No. No, why can I never do it while I have the boost? Ugh, so what is it, like infinite jackpack power for a little bit? Like six seconds? Okay. We needed still... Kinda carbon, but at the same time, not really. I think we're okay just to, like, head back. Notes, hidden tentacles, nutrient source, gas clouds. Look, you're too stupid to exist. Two carbon from that, if you can believe it. A whole two. We're rich.
kind of fun just melting through all the things. Yeah, it's a bit nicer now with carbon. Okay, so if I need to build a couple more structures, then uh, we have enough to do so immediately. Far away is this? Forever away. Give me that. Yes. Ah. Uh. Oh, that was good. And another salvage data. And another demogged machinery, too, with some viscous fluids. I'm just going to discard those. Rip them out of there. Hey, hi, hello. Oh. Okay. Dude, fuck these vortex cubes, really. Starship launch fuel. Hey, I'll take it, I guess. I'm at like 75%, but still kind of cool to have, I, I guess. So, base can be renamed, base computer to name it. Instead of Yekyav, but I kind of like Yekyav. New base screenshot. Okay. Upload it. Base uploading to servers. Okay. Your first base was auto named Demon Base? Cool. <laughs> Metal plating for them. But, 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 but. Space. Living slime we can get rid of, right? Okay. Need four of them. Okay. And, uh, what now? Ah, nanotubes. Ugh. Hey, demand, thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. Rock, rock and stone to you too, brother. Right, we don't need that. And then two tubes. And then a bit of sodium, which we already got. Base teleport module under general. Hey, look at that. Requires 20 power, though. Fucking hell. Sucked color. <gasps> oh. Red. Out of wood. <laughs> oh. 
Hold left control to access wiring. Hmm, look at that. Okay. Uh, Learn the biofuel reactor. Yeah, yeah. Get out of this. Yeah, I don't think you can drop stuff at all. It just you just discard it and it just vanishes. There's um not a lot you can do with it. I am very thankful that the stack sizes are massive. That's really cool. But I think I'm doing a little more exploration and general looting than the game expects me to be doing right now. So that's why I kind of just like beeline back home. Another metal plating. <sighs> Always metal plating. I just make like 20 metal platings just to have them. There's the reactor. I already have the stuff to build it. Electrical wiring. It's free, so I guess so. Batteries. Signal booster. Detects nearby buildings can decrypt navigation data to pinpoint specific locations. Need another carbon nanotube for it, though. And it can be redeployed and stuff. That sounds pretty, pretty useful. I got five data. So. Let's see what it wants from me first. Toggle torch. Oh, it's supposed to auto torch. Power industry. Power. Reactor. Okay. And this eats carbon? Yes, it does. Or oxygen. Okay, we threw all of the carbon into there. <laughs> okay, fine. So, wire mode. Don't trip. Watch your stop. <clears throat> this light is garbage. Like, really seriously bad. Do I feel the menus are easy enough to use, or is it clunky with the submenus? It's a little bit clunky, but it's also not too terrible, because, like, you left-click on this to go up to another menu. It is really disorienting, though, because it also changes what I'm looking at, like... Like here, tech. Immediate up arrow is power and industry. That's the second option there. So I click, but it's actually suddenly the fourth option now. And then I click this, and it's industrial, which is now the first option rather than the second option like it displays. So it it doesn't follow suit like at all. It's that's not great, but otherwise it, it works okay, I guess, just like and then mouse wheel even though it's inverted and it's it's okay. So what are we doing? Base computer log updated. Man, fucking base computer thing. Got to brave the elements out here for this thing. goes back to where to where it was last I'm not so sure it's like if you have option one two and three and what I'm on is pointing toward one you'd expect it to I go through and then bang option one but it goes to option one but option one is now option three over here so now there's just like two options to the left that 
should actually be on the right, and it's just... It's fucked up. It's not like a menu tree or anything. It's just some weird mess of words, basically. Base computer archives have reached their end. Seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. Well, let's go to the fucking space station. I got some stuff to offload. God damn it. So, yeah, can I like, can I have some of my carbon back or is that, is that gone? That's already gone and burnt up. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn it. Um. Yes, you like even here, decoration goes up to adornments. Adornments is one, lights is number two. So lights should be off to the right, but I go up to it now adornments is on the right. Lights is off to the left. Uh, why not keep it as is? And then, how, like, it's so disorienting. The... switches? Switches. Wiring. Switches. Wiring. What? Okay. Why does everything lead to wiring? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, ferrite dust in you. Right, let me grab that. Thank you. Nice ass shot. Beautiful. I'd like to research batteries. Okay. Condensed carbon, magnetized ferrite we've got. Condensed carbon. I would assume is I put in carbon into here and we compress it. I don't have any more carbon though, I think, because I threw it all in the thing. Right. I mean, I guess for now it doesn't really matter much. I was more thinking that this, this hub could have a portal that I could use to quickly get back, but if I fly there... Then I guess it doesn't much matter. You have lots of wiring shortcuts because people complain. Well, how about this then? Because look, check it out. When I'm in, when I'm in building and I hold control, which is the wiring shortcut key, check it out. Wiring's out. Like it's already there. There's already a solution. This doesn't even need to be anywhere in this menu because you access it with control. Ambulatory. I traveled 15 Ks. Man, so many Ks. The K stands for kicking ass. Oh. Oh, jeez. Look, if, if a scrub like me can figure out this control... This control thing for wires... Um... Starship engines, fine thrusters, fine. We had the extra fuel and all that. Yeah, we're okay to go. <laughs> Goodbye, base. We'll never meet again. Yeah, probably not, honestly. So where are we heading? <laughs> Space station off planet. That away though. Bitrate! Uh, shit, this is cutting it close to the horizon. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. Oh. <laughs> Did Empyrean get me into the mood of a space survival game? Well, I generally like survival games, and we're checking out Empyrean because it was recommended, but then I was told that No Man's Sky kind of does a lot of the stuff that Empyrean does, but better, so I thought, oh, okay, sure, we'll check that out, too. Um, 
So yeah, we're kind of all over the place with it, I guess, huh? Oh, okay, we're through. We'll, we'll fuck up the bitrate a little bit here. Okay, there we go. My dad told me his password is Mickey Mini Goofy Donald Pluto Huey Louie Dewey Dublin. Because he was told his password had to contain eight characters and at least one capital D. Oof. <laughs> Mickey Mini Goofy Donald Pluto Huey Louie Dewey Dublin. <laughs> Oof, good one, Lithrandal. <laughs> How you doing today? Thank you much. God damn it. God, I can't wait for the encoder just to shit itself every time it gets to these parts. That'll be, that'll be nice. Greatly looking forward to that. Like, even this is a little bit rough. Uh, uh. Um. Music, calm down. Oh, I can get out now. Okay, we're here, I guess. Why did I drop out of pulse engine so far? Because it's terrifying when there's one second away from being at the station with the pulse. And I, I don't just want to pulse directly into the damned thing. With Randall doing fine, finally received news that your employer will take you over. We're outsourced until now. Well, hey, congrats. Job security and stuff, right? Where's the goddamn door for this? This looks like a pit to fall down. Oh. Look at that ship. Yuzawa's ruthless architect. Starship of conscript. Yonke. Look at that. It's got a bus on top. Interloper. Achu Kazomeditsu. Yeyu. Oh, God. Um. I'd like to make you an offer you won't refuse. Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, bye. Thank you. How do? Where's in? Oh, these are stairs. Look at that. Oh, look at that. There's stuff up here. We can play chess. Or checkers. Starship outfitting. Purchase improvements and salvage ships. Recalibrate personal visuals. Ah, uh, damn! Oh my god. Look at this. All that Empyrean is making you want to place a No Man's Sky again. Funny you are too. Yeah, no, somebody said that Empyrean is like... Kind of a kind of a babby no man's guy because no man's guys improve so much. I had no idea. Um God, do we want to be like a little babby geck thing? This thing looks adorable. Look at all these presets we can choose from too. Look at that, that one's got a trash can on its head. That's cute. Oh, uh. In 
Interesting. some locked ones as well. Look at this one. Wow. Not a... Not a lot of difference on this helmet with a... So primary color, red secondary color, orange accent color. Oh, the visor? Oh, shit. Look at that. Super shiny. Matte black. Okay. No, oh, no, let's make it super shine. That's okay. This machine is so loud. Crystal. Yeah, I'm okay with that one. as well. Oh, yeah, okay. With a paw print? Oh, yeah, that's good. Give me my blue. And then... Some pink. Hireling Yeti. Entity Yeti. Conscript Yeti. I unlocked some. Yeti the Boundary Walker discovered a strange planet. Yeti the Robust. I survived 7,200 souls on an extreme world in one continuous adventure. 7,200 souls? Are you sure about that? That's days, isn't it? Fast as hell days on that planet, then. Three skeletons. Jeez, I'll be Eddie the Robust. Okay. Fuck yeah, save changes. Absolutely. God damn, look at look at us. Holy shit. I'm a new man. Exosuit upgrade. Technology merchant. Five thousand units. I got I got twenty seven thousand units for a new inventory slot. 
Okay, sure, I guess so. There was a couple inventory slots, I think, right? I don't think I had this one either or something. Alright, sure. Hi. And you? I don't really know your language, but, uh, yeah. Yanihu Nihu, Ed Sand, Eri Obai Ujan, and Manxi. Zifei Teidu, E. 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 Hu. E. Hu. Ata Jixi Dan. The light from waits behind their terminal. They look you up and down and seem to decide you are not a customer. They do not look particularly helpful. Okay. Okay. Now, oh, well, go, f go fuck yourself too, guy. Technology merchant, hello. Yani hu edzand eri obe ujan and menxi zife teidu ihu ata jixi dan. This seems familiar. Looks at me with alarm before waving me away. Okay. Pretty fucking helpful bunch, huh? So what are we doing here? Explorer. Find life forms and ask about the mysterious signal. Oh, right. Is there a station here for me to use? No. Okay. Yes, but no. Ah. Okay. Never mind. The hell if I walked into Trader Meepo, Guard Guxo, Traveler Sia. I approached a lost traveler. Their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there. Corrupted, corrupted, corrupted. Take please the proof we existed that that. Tries to hand you something, but whatever it is, it is immaterial, shimmering in and out of existence. The life are being to cry, despairing at their own impending disappearance. For a moment, I see another universe, a place utterly unlike anything I have ever encountered. I'll stay with them until the end. A life and the universe are consumed in a blaze of white, and yet the life form is still there, apparently unaware of anything that ju that just occurred. As I leave, they ask if I have received any troubling readings. They are afraid something is happening to their world. Mm. And Meepo? Been searching for such a long time, contracted to aid you in this and every cycle. Don't worry, everything was paid for a long time ago. It's all quite obvious, quite above, it's all quite above board. Oof. As a stranger speaks, a small a smell assaults me, a pheromone infesting my brain, giving me memories of places I never visited, of actions I never took. Of myself in a mirror, aged and alone, of this geck cradling their fallen brethren. Of a bargain made many years from now, a contract signed across the cosmos. The vision ends and the overseer remains. Promises to expand my base and allow me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started. I guess not. <laughs> I do not feel comfortable hiring this geck. That's racist. Guard Guxo. Demand a place on your throne world, interloper. Acceptance will grant you the glory of Exocraft and a Viking mech priest to administer its mass. Pray only that you have an Exocraft terminal sufficient for my skills. Refusal will result in my inevitable extermination. Be quick. Okay. I guess you just have to die. Seems dangerous and unstable. I should show caution before inviting him to live in my home. Dude seems... Totes legit and definitely friendly. Galactic Trade Terminal. Sell. Demand is up 18.9%. 
Bam. And the bone. And bone. And bone. Are my units received? Did I get them? Did I get them again? Okay. And starship stuff can also sell these. Don't know if I want to sell any of that. Although gold nugget um, can be processed into gold. Okay. So, 539,327 units I've got now. Feels quite nice. I can upgrade my multi-tool back over here again, right? Well, again. Improve its class. Oh, 10,000 nanites. Ach so, never mind. How many nanites do I have? 160. That's not enough nanites, is it? Ach, Manu. Scrap dealer, a uh, bye. Bye. Oh, jeez, you guys are in your words. Despite their size, the alien does not seem aggressive. But when I blink, I see that same red light that stared at you with the distress beacon. Repeat 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find out what we have left for you. Words are not their own, a string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away and I see the life form glaring at me. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have witnessed it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer will be able to make something out of this code. Back to the base computer. Ah! Oh. So space station, cartographer for directions, outposts, missions from a mission agent for rewards, teleported instantly returned to my base. Figured they'd have a teleporter here, but fun fact with that. Space Trucker. Earns 75,840 units. Money Maker. 185,27. Why is such strange numbers, these? And Merchant. 266,891. Enterprising. 539,327. Fucking all the things. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the, um, my teleporter's not powered because I don't, I didn't have any fuel for my generator. So, and also my ship is here. So. I may as well just fly back quick. Um, UI costs no salvage. Well, I want that one. Okay. Upgrade starship. A million units. Okay, look here. Look how rich you are. Here's a five-star cool achievement thing. You're actually broke as fuck. Uh... Multi-tool plays also sells one. It only shows up when you approach it closely. Eh, yeah, weapon terminal. A retuned, a retuned Miss QEV scoop. It's C class. Uh, compare. So my current one has worse scanner range, and its slots are 
not great. I guess it's got another slot. But this doesn't seem that I'm not sure I really care. I'm not sure I is that all you've got? That's all you've got. Yeah. Okay. Was well, there another thing like that at one of these? Encrypted navigation data. 15 nanites. I'm assuming you can't talk to me. Oh. Nanite clusters, though. Hoi! <laughs> Dark Song Kingi Interloper. Oh, by Gankin. Jem Ung Long Doxi. Yeah. Oh shit, these are actually like cheap and affordable. My god. Hmm. Okay. Do you talk to me now, too? No. Okie dokie. So, teleport terminus. Oh, I can't punch here. Just had your worst super support experience concluded. Your son has a Huion Draw tablet, tablet, and it wouldn't work at all. The company is Chinese with the appropriate quality of support. Diagnostic software is shared through a Google Drive link. They need a video, which they also want to be shared through Google Drive. They need a postage fee to replace the stylus, can accept that, but they're not providing an invoice. Just transfer it through PayPal. What the f- this seems sketch as fuck. <laughs> that uh, sounds horrible. Look, if they want Google Play cards, just tell them no. Oh, hello, Ensign. Your Gek servant told me you were coming, interloper. It's an honor to meet one whose bloodlust exceeds my own. Gra, we shall kill together for the glory of Herc and our ancestors. A great sentinel hunt begins. Come, let us inhale the requisite gra-gra. This Viking's old. <laughs> it's, a, it's talks like an old person or what? It's not their skin or appearance that suggests this. These beings are too alien, too unusual for me to make a judgment on that basis. It's the way they hold themselves, the way they speak. They are not posture. They smile at me and tell me it's an honor for us to meet. I believe them. Ensign Teizu promises to come to my world and make use of my weapons terminal. No! Was I misinformed while interloper? Okay. Echo Analyst Entity. I don't think there's a lot of reason to talk to many people currently. We don't have stuff unlocked. Mission Agent. Hello. Hoi, interloper, atarma ihu ata noxo dogdo. All right, look, whatever ihu is. Bam. I found 16 carbon inside that plant. What a find.
Why is your monitor making that noise? That can't be okay. Okay. Use the teleport terminus to return. Okay, I'll do it, but like, mine's not powered. I'm gonna fly back. Because I have no way currently to get back to my ship. Base computer archives. Yeah, yeah. New Krugistan. I discovered this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Goodbye, bitrate. Wow. Oh god. We're coming in hot. Where we're going, we don't need bitrate. Oh, too true. Fucking hell, what a landing, eh? Man, nailed it. And hey, inventory wise, I got space again, so that's quite nice. I feel good about that. I can actually, like, get things now. Oh, yeah, you want me to talk to this, don't you? New task begin decryption. Can't crash into things using pul the pulse, by the way. So how's that work when if, like, I'm heading toward a planet with pulse, does it just automatically stop me when I'm, like, close enough? It has to, right? A massage follows. Oh, oh boy. Traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Sounds like fly to us or and die. Like that can't be good. Reach the decoded coordinates. Okay. So battery. Um for the battery I needed condensed carbon. Which means getting a bunch of carbon. Which means playing with controls until the button does what I'm hoping it does eventually. See? See's the one. Although this doesn't tell me where carbon is. That'd be... That'd be like this guy. But there's no cool carbon... Carbon cool pants stuff around here. So we would be really just taking out the flora around which is fine I guess goes pretty quick it's also quite a lot of fun just destroying stuff with a laser beam I 
I gotta get me a laser like this and house flipper. Makes stuff so much easier. Oh, I need you to remove this busted radiator. My ex left me and shit on the countertop and took all my stuff. I just laser him up. How we doing? 398. I'm assuming it's two carbon per condensed carbon, at least. of it try yeah okay two per and I still have some base carbon on me for you know actually using for stuff although what would I use base carbon for I don't really use that for building anything yeah worth keeping maybe I maybe I unlock a structure that I want to use it for or something So, uh, why? Tech, power, power, battery. Make it green. Oh. How can I remove this wire? Condensed carbon, just diamonds? Uh, if it's condensed enough, sure. X. Oh, this X. Got it. Okay, look, it's less of a tripping hazard now. Also, why are you so loud? You're turned off. Oh my god. And then throw a bit of- throw a bit of condensed in, how about? Yeah, not a- not a lot. Not a lot at all. I'll admit it. How about... Oxygen. Inefficient burn. Turns into carbon, though. Okay. Well then. Oh, fuck it. Just put the rest of the carbon in there, I guess. Okay. So that's doing a thing. Twenty-seven minutes until charged. Grid power usage twenty-three kp. For what minute? Second. I can't do solar power yet. I need four more construction components, which I can head out and get. Because there were... Some things... left. When I clear these sites, they disappear, right? They must. I have 4.5 thousand hours in No Man's Sky. You still love it, only gets better. Man, that's a lot of hours. Mm 
don't know if I'll have that many hours, but man, that's great that somebody could enjoy something for so long. Like, that's so cool. Like, even if it turns out to not really be the game for me and I only spend 20, 30 hours into it. At least it did something for someone, you know? that nasty hazardous stuff more oxygen though I need it for life support hello Tambi welcome welcome I eat the one Okay. And what were you? Oh yeah, sweet root, right, that's a food thing. And this is, oh yeah, the pods that we can take the thing out of to sell, but I'm going to hang on to that for a minute, because I got some stuff I gotta pick up. Weapon charge depleted, oh no! Really go through carbon quick. Using carbon to fuel the thing to get carbon. I'd like to think that the bigger things like this that would be giving me more carbon than the little plants. Seems to vary a pretty good amount though. That's ferrite dust. Efficiency and unbreaking on this thing. Ah, oh, that'd be great. Maybe even some silk touch. Maybe I can like, uh, you know, grind it up more efficiently with 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 things at the base. But I gotta use silk touch to really get to really get the most out of it. Four each. This massive thing. Four ish each. These guys seems to be okay for it. I guess they're just uh, like more of a dense plant or something, I don't know. Yeah, this the speed punch jet thing still works, yeah. I've been doing that a little bit. Saves a bit of time. Ugh. There's <laughs> always something behind it. Whee! Feel like some budget Superman launching off.
Eh, sometimes there's stuff around it as well. Thought I would check. It was a bit deeper. More data. Um, I actually can kind of use that. I harvest that just from some of the flora anyway, so I'll take it. Next. A little bit of just going around, but it ain't too bad. Carbon crystals. Yoink. Pipe. With this armor and the way I look, my head cannon is that I'm actually just like some six-year-old kid imagining all of this. Well, I, I look exactly how a six-year-old would probably dress up when they wanted to look really cool. Do I have four now, or is that five? That's ten, actually. Oh god, that had a bunch in it. Never mind. That had a shitload. Okay. Good deal. Um, There were bones nearby. May as well grab them while we're here. But that's sort of enough for us. Should have made him short. Uh, yeah, maybe, but maybe this kid dreams of being tall. Regent of Planet, Abhabi Kitsu. Okay. Ancient bones. Imperfect partial skeleton. 409 years old. That's 100,000 units right there. Easy money. Uh, I'm really looking forward to more sites like this where we just have <laughs> some just ridiculous thing in our sky or horizon or something like that. Pretty lucky to get ancient bones on a planet this harmless streamer luck hype. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, streamer loot. That's how it is. But, like, there is nothing hostile here at this planet. And I'm assuming that's just how the first solar system is. There might be, like, a moon that the game takes us to that's a bit hostile, but that's about it. So what else have we got? Okay, a cargo drop right there. Yeah, sure. Hey! Oh, well. Rusted metal. Turns into ferrite. And oxygen inside. No. Gak relic. Gak relic. Metal statuette of a creature with a coin placed in its beak, popular with many traders who see it as an emblem of fair commerce and peace. Oh. Oh. And you are sodium nitrate. 
Advanced Catalyst, useful for charging defensive technology such as shields or hazard protection. Okay. I guess so. I guess that cash on the way back. But we are okay to head back. Wait till you're on a close orbit moon of a ring planet. Oh god. Man, those things are wide. Look at this wide boy. Mwah. Mwah. I don't know if I scanned it. Oh, let me check you out. Yeah, I haven't. Fucking hell. Sleep standing up. Collect seeds and stuff. Scan it and name it. Uh, how would I name it? V oak remediticium or so. Somewhere in like Discoveries? The fauna here. Five of ten. Yeah, these... Jesus. These fucking things. Rename and upload. Thick boy. Wow, oh, that's like... Thick boy. Five nanite clusters received. Okay. And that's that's uploaded now. So now that's that's just a thing. There's like a point zero 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 one percent chance that somebody somewhere out there might discover a thick boy and be like, damn, that boy dick. And I'll be like, that's why I named it that. That's exactly why. You ever been so thick that you actually can't lay down so you have to sleep standing up? Well, that's them. Dismantled for platinum. Magnetized ferrite. Oh my god, 99 of it. What a thing. If I go to photo mode, you can stargate to me? I know, like, maybe two of the words there. Hello. Basically a rat. <laughs> Thick boy on planet wide float. <laughs> Man, oh man. I'm assuming you get like uh, a big, a big bonus if you scan all the stuff. Because it keeps track down here. Six out of ten. A rock, a rock, a rock, a rock. Uh, basically root, a rock, rock. They're all just rocks. Yeti, it's called a mineral. No, no, no. It's a fucking rock. Look at it. Hello? There's some damaged machinery here. Is this my base thing? <laughs> no, that's up there. Okay. How about...
So what are we doing? Oh, right. Yeah, going to the signal. But I was hoping to get solar. That's right. Need metal plating and 30 gold. Gold I've got a bit of on the ship. Okay. Then all sorts of building things. So, um, yeah, the gold. Yeah, signal booster as well, but one thing at a time before I get super distracted. Let's quick transfer that to the ship. The refined metal we can put away, the impartial skeleton thing we can stash away. Okay, only 13 gold, but we do have a gold nugget. Oh, that was enough gold. That did it. Power. Solar panel, one metal plating. I mean, I should probably make a couple solar panels, right? Like... Decent amount of space for a sun here, I guess. I mean, this bastard is so close, it takes up a lot of the sky, but... Oh well. Hey, you know what? I'm going to make more. Look at me go. I'll daisy chain them together. So there's that. So hopefully we can get this battery like proper charged, proper quick. That's my hope. And uh, if I need another battery, I don't know. I hope not. So signal booster. That's another portable thing. One plate, one carbon.
Okay. Drop pod coordinate data. Right. It found one thing down to the south. Yeah. A minor settlement over there. Thanks, signal booster. Hey, Nildcor. Have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, actually, should we go on foot? Starship launch fuel was what to make? Dye hydrogen metal plating? Okay, easy as hell to make, honestly. Because it's like 800 away or something like that. That's like, I could do it, but ugh. Ah, there it is. Ah. Yeah, I know how to fly. Okay, we're here. <laughs> it's like right over the hill, pretty much. Oh, okay. I'll land back here then, I guess. Or just never, apparently. What do you mean unavailable? Just do it. Oh, okay. I gotta get me one of these. Call Starship, Radiant Pillar BC-1, navigation data required. Hmm. Hello? Local Trade Center, Site VA09-6J. An Impulse Blaster, KA7D08M48. I saw one of these in a magazine back when I was a kid. It's garbage, it's a Class C thing. A lot of slots on it though, holy shit. Holy fuck, holy damage potential. Mining beam, it's got a bolt caster on it. 1.5 million units. Okay, fuck me, I guess. Never mind. Wow. I'm not a millionaire yet. Give me a give me a second. Trade terminal. Now look at that. I will sell from the starship the vortex cubes, the Gek relic, the skeleton, and okay. Up to 724,000 now. They're even selling some Starship launch fuel too, which is kind of cool. Bit too expensive for me to really care too much about it, but kind of cool nonetheless. Anything that I have to sell. I still have a launch fuel on myself, actually, so we're totally fine with that. Looks like no, though. Officer o o ping or so. Warriors' nostrils flare as I approach. They inhale deeply, sampling out the damp caustics from all the toxic rain that lingers on my exosuit. 
They bark out what could be a warning. I hurriedly mime that I am peaceful and know little of their kind or language. Be a Daxai interloper, Luhan Lazayug, Ram Yangku M Pawan, Angso Kaifa Kad Kabgar? Ifin Tin Kilo. I would drink some Tin Kilo. That sounds like a drink. I think he's offering me a beverage. I I will give you ten sodium for a beverage. They take a second to think, then grab my multi-tool while barking again into my visor, streaking it with saliva. They point at the mining beam change indicator, then at my backpack. I do my best to keep calm. Uh, mining beam charge indicator, then at my backpack. I don't know, sodium? I think sodium's maybe the fanciest thing I've got. Warrior grunts, a little surprised. It seems to have misunderstood one another. They teach me some of the language of their people and interrupt them to bridge this divide. I've learned the Viking word for gra. Okay. Um. So what is what is gra? <laughs> Catalog. Where is the dictionary? I have no idea. What's Gra? Somebody mentioned Gra Gra before. Nothing more to say. Okay. Gra is just an expletive, honest. Is there a way for me to see in game like the dictionary and the lingo that I've learned? If, like, I want to impress some some younger generation with some ha-ha new alien buzzwords. Blueprints for craftable technology as well as many components required to craft them. I'll take a look at blueprints, yeah, sure. A teleport receiver, a ship-mounted teleportation device for 150 nanites. Advanced mining laser. Replace a standard mining beam optics with a high-grade living glass, allowing the beam to effectively to be effective against large and slash or rare resource deposits. Adapts automatically to minute fluctuations in the beam waveform, minimizing scatter and increasing device mining potential. Enables advanced mining laser plus 15% speed. Requires a wire two wiring loom and a hermetic seal though, which is a little bit. Mm. But hey. It's a potential upgrade. Waveform Recycler. Increase scan radius, reduce recharge time. Hazard protection battery plus 20% would be quite nice. And bolt caster upgrade. Reduce recoil plus one shot per burst and a minus 6% cooldown on that. I need Viking rank 3 for a toxic suppressor for 21% toxic resistance. Wow. I'll take the advanced money laser though. Shit, that sounds that sounds fine. Bam. Done. I was hoping to see where that went. Uwe no Maxi, Ata her from Viking, Ufen Yami Dogdo, Zoisa Uda Obink. Okay. Hermetic seal? I need one. It's cheap enough. Carbon seal. And also wiring looms. Prefabricated circuit board designed for flexible use in a large range of technology components. 
Oh, multi-tool inventory is where it is? Okay. Wiring loom. Can I... Do I know how to make a wiring loom, too? I mean, there's a hermetic seal. That's just condensed carbon. That's pretty easy. Wiring loom, though? Not so sure. Might buy those. Because if I do that... Yeah, let's go for that. I'll buy the... It's expensive. It's like 70,000 per. You can only buy looms, you can't build them. Oh, okay. Is that what the blue color is? Or... Because it's a universal technology platform, these are crafted technology components, there's something different. Motherfuckers just got one of them. Dude. Alright, well I'll buy- I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Maybe up in space there's another one up there. Jesus fucking guy. Navigation data is cheap. Is this worth it? Drop pod coordinate data. Reveals the location of a drop pod containing exosuit upgrades. And demand is down 34.5%, so... The price is even cheaper than it would normally be. Whoops. Uh. I think I take them both. And salvage data, just the one, but don't need that. Okay, cool. Um, nice. Oh yeah, multi-tool, the upgrade thing I'd be able to put in. A bolt caster, right? I could, uh, I could see about actually making a bolt caster, huh? Oh yeah, mining laser. Okay, cool, cool. Oh yeah, that's that. And there were other buildings, I think. What's your story? It's just loud. It's just loud here. Just really loud. So nothing much there. But hey, cool. We got some uh, some neat stuff. And then yeah, the coordinates are in my cargo now. And up at the space station, we can maybe get another one of those looms. I can easily make a hemetic seal myself. Landing area not clear. It's just never available. Like ever. I don't know what I'm not doing right. 
I'll just park way over here. <laughs> it lets me, so I'll take it. Where are we? Right on some H. 200 away. That's very obnoxious. It's a loading thing. Ugh. I don't think it lands where I'm aiming, just beneath me, but yeah, it could be that it's just too busy loading the environment a little bit to, uh, you know, actually set me down. Say I went for the space clown look? Space clown? No, no, no. Imaginative six-year-old, I would think you'll find. How you doing power-wise? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, totally maxed. Fantastic. Good, good, good. Um... Can I, like... Yeah, I can head straight up into the system. Cool. I need to do... Signal booster. Decipher. Okay. And where else? These are going to stay for a while, right? Did you really just like refine the same one? Unbelievable. Terrific. Like arriving in one hour. Leads me to believe that I should like kind of sort of try to work my way over to it so I'm there when it lands, but not like something else is gonna scoop it up. Oh well. We'll have to do some bone hunting. It's fine. And your launch thruster. There's that out of my inventory finally too. Looks like it's still falling. But I think it's also just like marked in the curvature and all that, maybe? I think it's just like trying to track the curvature or something like that. So we'll head out a little bit more for some real speed here. Ish. Because I'm allowed to go faster as I'm further away from the planet, right? Gah! <laughs> 
Just immediately burn right back in. Yeah, so like that's just it's so far away so it's really high up because it's it's marking like the other like corner in quotes I guess anybody new here no okay I get a load of this thing though man So I, I need sodium nitrate if repaired user will not be charged for any exosuit upgrades. Okay. I need an antimatter. I'll just go ahead and get one of those, I guess. Ionized cobalt. Sodium nitrate. Okay. So expensive to do or at least it seems to be nothing you just uh kind of sort of gather an atlas pass version one required yeah i don't know about that Okay, so that's what those are all about then. Do we have any more bones around here by chance? Not that I'm really saying. Okay. Well, we can head back to the station then, I guess. Didn't take the gold back. Some platinum. Tritium silver. Don't have any of that. Chromatic metal. Don't really need that very much. The magnetized ferrite. You can have that as well. Yeah, probably pure ferrite too. Some nitrogen. Stuff that I'm not really going to use. That's a distress signal. I need, though, that... Where was that station? And how do I find it again? I'll port there if I gotta? Maybe I have to. If 
Gotta love an icon when I go into space. Okay. Bit right. This is terrifying, man. <laughs> Jesus criminy. Okay, and yeah, it just automatically stops you pretty close by. Okay. Ah. Where's our cool Half-Life environmental hazard suit music track thing this time around? I want that every time I dock. I wanna- I wanna feel like I'm a really cool guy. Ugh. what I'm after these guys I think right that's a traveler guy trader detect faint traces of that same strange scent but I can think clearly now I was too hasty I need an overseer for my base and here is a perfect opportunity promises to expand my base allowing me to recruit other workers a construction terminal I don't have yeah, okay, right, that's just... Some guy. You didn't trade anything, did you? Mm. All the cities are gone, all the wars had an end, the Sentinel saw to that, didn't they? And you know what? They were right. Offer nanites, 15 of them. Ask where they came from for 100 nanites? Barter for 200 sodium nitrate. I'll bite. Where do you come from? Offers directions to a place of interest. Okay. So I can't... I can't trade with them. And these dudes don't really want to talk to me at all. That's the same thing. Was there not just a general merchant dude I was able to talk to? Lock the trade terminal on the walls. All right. That's right. And yeah, there's a loom. A bunch of rooms for a much nicer price too. Yay! What else you got? Yeah. Nothing too wild. Okay. So that's... I think everything I need. Carbon nano tube as well. Okay, okay. Okay. And then if I wanted the bolt caster, I need more chromatic metal and three nano tubes for that. Fire mode by pressing G and then fire weapon with left click. Supercharged metallic elements. Firing them as high velocity projectiles capable of causing extreme damage. Mmm. But hey, now we have advanced mining. Yeah. Happy about that. 
And now I could port back, but like... I don't have a way to get my ship back then. <laughs> that's that's the big thing with that. And I... I might need my ship on that planet. But then I guess if I do, then I can just like port back and fly back to the planet then and just fly to where I want to be on that planet. I guess it works out if I just leave it here. The ship comes with me. Now how does that work? It's like I don't have a hangar or anything. Weather. Toxic damp. <sighs> Is it just going to be parked outside nearby, or...? Unknown grave. Hmm. Ah, hey, look at that. Enjoy my Valheim playthrough on YouTube. Going to watch Breath Edge after. Hey, thanks. I had a pretty good time with Valheim. It got annoying, though. <laughs> it got annoying. take off and fly over there. I didn't realize this was on my planet. What a hit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. There we are. Uh. <laughs> Man, that plant just threw me. Atmospheric interference. Oh, wrong button. Uh huh. He's what I want. You can't land because of the atmosphere. I don't care. Oh, hi. Projectile ammunition. And condensed carbon. Etoneb iteration and NFD83, unknown grave. I asked question that no one had asked. It was a simple... The Sentinels. What are the... Where do they come from? Mid in my life's work to find left logs records across worlds. The fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. Get that glyph. I obtained the glyph, and with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveler in peace. One of sixteen. Okay. Uh. General base stuff collection while it's here, you know? Only takes a moment. And that's the good stuff. 
Just to keep my carbon in line. <sighs> right. So we can then... I guess keep an eye out for that stuff. Yeah, I got the better miner already. I guess we can head off towards the possible distress signal. Although I kind of feel like I should get a bolt caster thing. So we have some way to defend ourselves proper that doesn't involve a... Uh, uh, a little laser beam. But I need more copper, I think, for that, which we can very easily get. Guess I'll get the uh, hydrogen as well. Salvage data times four. That's a good one. And I needed... What I need again for that? Just carbon, right? Chromatic, oh yeah. Yeah, carbon and the chromatic metal copper. Right, 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 right. So that we... And head over to there, I suppose. On foot is a little bit annoying, but it saves me a decent amount of that launch fuel, which although, I mean, to be honest, Just die hydrogen, which I just got a shitload of metal plating. Like. There. I mean, I, d I don't have to worry about it, like, at all. The stuff is so easy to get. Oh, hey, big carbon. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Five. It looks bigger than that, okay? No Man's Sky is full crossplay. That's nice. I wish more games were crossplay. For some reason, crossplay is just like I never use it, but it's just never, never anything anybody really prioritizes. Like I get it requires a lot more work and netcode and all that, but there's a lot of major titles that you would really think would have it that don't. Oof. All right, time for one of my favorite activities. All right, the manipulator. Yeah, right? I wish I had this in Valheim. Oh my god.
All right. Looted. <laughs> they needed ferrite for the metal plates, right? Like I'm out of that? Yeah, ferrite dust. Like I may as well get a decent stockpile of the launch fuel and all that. You know? That stupid rock that looks like just all the other ones. Yeah, you. What are you? Naholite. It's got some sodium in it. Mm -hmm. Carbon fungal mold. Technology I'll be the one getting there. A little more dihydrogen. Literally one more, I think. <laughs> oh well. Do I need the beam now that I've got the laser? You mean this thing? I don't know. I think so. Like, this is just, uh, just an improvement type thing upon it. This is what actually has the energy and all that, so I think I, I think I do, yeah. Destruction of flora, fauna, or minerals may attract sentinel attention. You say that. Seems pretty... pretty safe here. Okay. And then three carbon nanotubes. Okay. And you, I will... Just gonna scrap you, actually. <laughs> so we refine the copper. And then we can make the bolt caster, and then I can... A bit more safe take off. Yeah, why not? We'll get this too. Oops, wrong button. Turn, 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 turn better. Shoot rocks from the ship. Does that work? I kind of assumed we wouldn't be getting anything from that, because we just, like, rip it to shreds. I need more uh, oxygen. 
Wow. I got so much of it. 700 plus currently. Where'd you come from? Look out! <laughs> I'm mining over here! <laughs> uh, this is a, a big copper lump. Some of the fancy ferret, why not? Probably just a few of it it needed for that. I don't know if that works or not. Seems like it might. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this thing is like scary strong. <laughs> like... <laughs> what a- what a powerful goddamn tool this thing is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I destroyed most of that copper, like didn't even harvest it. I only got like 11 from that. There's still quite a bit of lump left. And uh... Ah, some silver? Do I got room for silver? I got room for silver. Heck yay! Can you not? Jesus Christ. And this? More silver? Okay. I think that silver we leave. Can harvest two times more when I make the circle smaller. 
Make the circle smaller. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Take that, plant! Uh, yeah, this ain't bad so far. I mean, yeah, we haven't really done a whole lot, haven't really gone anywhere and seen a whole lot, but so far it's interesting enough. The UI took a... decent minute to get used to, but, uh, I think I generally understand it nowadays. Back to home. I think we just blew past it. Ooh. directly down into the atmosphere. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Did I ever use this one? I don't think so. And no, I totally didn't. Just noticed it was still closed. The Yum Cump Dale. Okay. Not what I would have called it, but sure. Whatever. I guess I can name it whatever I want to, though, huh? for you. Okay, battery-wise, we're still doing quite okay. 7... 726 until drain. 27, 28. We're still gaining somehow. It says battery state is draining, but it's taking longer for it to be drained. I'm not really sure why. Change, change the sphere with R and T. Also for removing the terrain. <clears throat> okay. Because that's like for uh, for filling it back in and all that. I noticed that that's hotkeys for that, but I didn't know it was also for removing terrain. And that just requires some kind of fancier stuff. Like, is is there more research than this in the game? I feel like there has to be, right? Because we're just on vital technology. There's got to be other categories to do, other machines to use. Like, this is... This is like nothing otherwise. <laughs> I'm just... I'm sitting here with Salvaged Aid being like, I could spend it on the health station, I guess, but like... Eh? Okay. Wooden window panel. I'll I'll take that. Requires a bit of glass, but we can make that work. And this guy. We want to refine a bit of rusted metal first. Sure, go for it. it doesn't take too terribly long to do. <sighs> the copper is what we're really after, though.
It's strange. Battery state is draining. Discharge rate, 23k. That's her storage. But it's counting up still. I, I guess we're just good. We're just fine on, uh, <laughs> we're just fine on power. The copper. All of it? All of it. Carbon, we got plenty of mold, ammonia, don't care about that. Sodium, I don't really even care about. Silicon, I don't really care about too much either, to be fair. Silver, we can process. I would assume. That can be broken apart to become a bit of dihydrogen. Terrific. Ferrite dust. 103 of it. Okay. What are you doing? Creatures can be fed to encourage the formation depop depot of faith. Right. Agricultural substance. I mean I wonder if we can break that down at all. Come on, thing. Okay. And that's using projectile ammunition. I just made a bunch more, but I'm not sure how. It said E to craft more, and I thought I'd be getting a window. <laughs> like, this is what it takes to make more. How much do you want now? What I just spend all of? Ferrite dust. Okay. That's all right. That's a lot of bullets. Okay, though. I'm all right with it. The... Oxygen, I think, inefficiently turned into fuel for this thing. This can turn into Mordite. Okay. Carbon turned into fancier carbon. Into carbon. Not a, not a lot, though. Ammonia? Ferrite dust. Uh. And silver requires... something else, maybe, I guess. Okay. Well... We got bullets. We can head out then towards that distress bacon. Get away from my ship. Yeah, I assume the portable one is just garbage compared to like uh, an actual refinery that you would build for your base. I mean, the portable one is, well, it's portable though. So if you need just something basic crafted up, you can do that. I don't 
don't want to initiate landing. I wanted to track that. Bit right. <laughs> What seems to be the distress? Here is what GPU I'm running. I also have a 1080. Just a basic 1080 with no, no TI or anything. Not really rocking anything too fancy. Apparently we're going low TAA. I thought we were on high, but oh well. Nothing too nuts. Seems to do okay though. I'll season the GPU a little bit to um, process the stream and also render on the side, so. Quite okay, really. So this is that web world that we were on before, right? Copper, gold, sodium on there. I, th I think this is the one that we were on before. A 1660? Probably. Probably not on the highest settings though, but probably. Signal led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I found a pilot's log blinking, awaiting input. Get that log! Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short massage. Mmm. Get bacon, get massages. Anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Mmm. I pulled the blueprint from the computer. But this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone places here after the crash, hoping it would be found. Light speed warp drive. FTL propulsion that allows starship to attain warp speed and jump between neighboring systems. User is advised to access hyperdrive systems through Galactic Map. Chromatic metal and microprocessors. Begin installation, acquire the stuff for it, the components for that, finalize installation. Okay, fine. There's that. And then microprocessors, I need four more of. That's, that's everything in it, yeah. So those, I think, are ones we have to find. Purchase microprocessors, it says, but I'm sure we can find some, right? Like, look at this wreckage. Knowing how this game's going so far, I might have to purchase one or two. But I'm pretty sure. Yeah, cargo pods and shit everywhere. I'm pretty sure we can find something nice here. 
I like where'd I get the car of microprocessors that I've got now? Found it in something. So, mind manipulator mode. Okay, yeah, I think we're already on the smallest. I, I, I thought at least. Reinforced steel. Are you the cargo crate? Or... No, you're just part of the ship, I think. Or something. A damaged panel. Oops. Jesus Christ. 25 carbon to repair the solenoid. Okay. Some nanites. Radiation leak draining pretty quickly there. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of radiation. Did I get anything from that aside from the nanites or was that it? How was that just then? <laughs> I think that radiation's making me hallucinate. I thought I heard a choir or something going on. Oh. Okay, next. Um. Yo, I didn't hear anything. Okay. Uh, okay. Silicate powder and nanites. Apparently not hugely worthwhile at all. Oh, this looks like an okay find. At least I thought. Huh. Antimatter. Oh, look at that. I needed that. I don't remember what for. I needed that for a thing. What did I need that for? <laughs> I remember it. I remember it being needed though. I needed just one to craft something. Oh, the drop pod repair, really. A lot of these seem to just give me nanites. As like the reward for breaking them open and stuff. I 
Copper, sodium, copper, sodium. A lot of copper and sodium. Oof. Now I can make it, by the way. I can make antimatter. A warp cell, antimatter housing. Okay, I'm gonna say make, just making antimatter seems like a really weird concept. <laughs> Look at antimatter housing. A gold deposit. Does being anti-antimatter make you pro-matter or just matter? I think just pro-matter, yeah. I don't know. Scientists still trying to figure it out, though. It's a puzzle. We got our best English linguists on the case to let you know. Suppose it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> you can leave now. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, looks to be about it there. Some of like the deposits around, uh, like a sodium deposit. Don't know what I need sodium for really yet. The gold is a bit tempting, just because I. I think gold we can sell decently. I, I like money. Money is kind of cool. Custom marker. Heck. Hecky. Region of planet ripe new. Hmm. There's something I identified here, I saw that. Melt easily. Okay. If you say so. Yeah, they gave a pretty okay amount of ferret, actually. Not bad. I feel like I always need ferrite dust. Rip Thorlight!
Sure is spooky here, apparently. Hey, a geode. Couple geodes. Nice. Contained negative matter and baryogenesis antiparticles. The vast energy potential of antimatter makes it highly valuable. 95% of existing antimatter consumption is in the powering of starship hyperdrives. Hmm, good. Okay. Still got space for gold? Yeah, a little bit. What a flat landscape this is. <laughs> I just noticed how flat this place is. I'd go into there for the cubes if they sacked higher than five and sold better than they do. They're kind of a pain to carry around. Uh, they're decent money. I guess like what seven thousand per. Decent. Look at this guy. Condensed carbon. I can get that. Bam! Straight away. Look at us go, cause we got a cool guy mining laser. Twenty per. Uh, it might have been like yeah, several thousand like that. Yeah, it could be. I remember it being like pretty cool, but. Not like, holy shit, I gotta go out of my way for them. Okay, so terrain manipulator, the smallest size. I don't know what size we were on before, but yeah, it could have been one of the bigger ones. This is going a little bit slower. But if it gets me more, then awesome. It's just wild how quickly we melt through stuff. Rambler. 25 case we've moved. Look at that. Five stars. Circle straight the golden boss. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So much of it. Yeah, I must have been using a really big circle before. How much we got? 496 we have currently. Holy shit. That's a bit of value. <laughs> wow. And since it's going in here, this is like the big boy stacks. I could have like almost 10,000 of it stored in there, right? Something like that. Technology 
super ferrite, super carbon. Yeah, whatever size that is, that it defaults to. Looks like No Man's Sky has a little something for everyone now, B. B? <laughs> hey, thanks, Colio. Prime Gaming, 15 months. Much appreciated, man. How you doing? How you been? Yeah, it's come a really long way from what I hear. Just, uh... So many years of so many huge major updates. Like, for free, too. Just trying to make the game better for everybody. Seems to be okay. I don't really mind it much. The interface was really confusing at first because it doesn't really make sense why it does it the way it does it. But uh, if you just stick with it and just go along with it. It's not terrible to learn. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Wex. I'll bring salt back. Don't worry. I'll do it. How much do you reckon a lump of gold like this would sell for on King of Retail? Probably not much, right? Yeah, okay, and it still does that thing. Okay, cable pod. I can pick those up? This one's a bit... This is a bit large. I don't think I can pick this one up. The other one is a bit smaller, right? Unidentified plant. If, if you say so. Plant life. Juvenile. Narrow root structure. Predatory nutrient source. Sap binds permanently. Weird fucking flower, man. Hey, look, more gold. Yeah, alright. I'll take some. Look at all these little things. Balled up together. Little geode farms are what these are. Oh, hey. Meaty chunks. A nutritious meat product harvested from the corpse of a creature that once contained it. Just gonna discard that. <laughs> and ferrite dust. So I guess that's a thing? <laughs> cool. So where's the glowy one of the, uh, the tubi dudes that I can get? Like, it wasn't this. This is a a animal of some form. It's an elderly one, though. It's a bit old. It's been around a little while. Ah, 
Hopper. Fucking weird, man. A rare stabilized glitch retrieved from a malfunctioning planet. Safe for rehousing inhabitable bases. Uh. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Put them in the backyard, I, I guess. And bring the kids around. We can, you know, bounce the basketball off of it. And that's really about it. If you throw your dog, it'll fetch it. Yeah, yeah. Play, play fetch with the dog. What? Stacks to five if I want that many. Do I? Not really. But I got a couple at least. We can start heading back. Because it's also getting to be kind of sort of time to wrap it up for the day. Heads up for ending the stream. The game only saves upon entering a base slash ship or exiting them or space station, etc. Yeah, notice that. Thank you. A bit of an odd way to do it, but uh, I'll take that over Valheim's just randomly locking up the game for half a second in the middle of a fucking combat. Because <laughs> I can't be bothered to wait. It's still weird to me it does that, because Valheim knows when combat's nearby. By default, there's a setting on for the interface that gives you the controls, and it brings that up on the bottom right corner whenever you're just near anything that could fight you. Just to remind you. So it knows. It could just have whatever triggers that to pop up. Is also the trigger for, hey, don't save. Or alternatively, just be a little less aggressive with the dumps, because man, <laughs> some of the some of the lockups Valheim would do is like 0 0.6, 0 0.7 seconds, like not quite a full second, but kind of close. And then it would still take a few seconds afterwards for the save. It was it was pretty interrupting. And there's nothing quite like it being in the middle of a boss fight with the game just locking up on you for almost a second, because it, it keeps doing things during that time. It, it's not like the game itself pauses. So I use navigation datas to have the ship, like, autopilot to me? Brrr. 
So space space station terminal. Let's head toward that. I got gold and stuff to sell. Let's go. Oh, it's so much better than that abrupt, just complete scene change that Imperion would do. <laughs> oh man, was that distracting. And there goes the bit rate. Ow, wow. Oi. <laughs> the fuck? Vomit. Bulk upload my scans whilst in space if you want more nanites. Uploading scans just like... From the... The discoveries thing? Uh, yeah, this way. Kind of forgot that the, that gave nanites, honestly. What? Hey, I visited you. Are we sure? Highly detailed military plans. Interloper, Viking, Fusharikuyan, Relmogia, Etsujui, Yeg. Ah, oh, God. On one side of the battlefield stands the creature's own warrior race, and on the other, the robotic sentinels. While your demands at a point to one side or the other. The warriors. Grunts, nodding enthusiastically. They mark our new friendship by handing me tribute. Dude's just a skinny Krogan, like... Scanner module. Improve a scientific technology I've already installed. Each module is unique. Search out specific or rare modules at each space station. And plus one Viking standing. Hey, look at that. We did it. Ready-made require no crafting. Use nanites to buy upgrades from space station technology merchants. Each one is unique. Check one for rares. Okay. Scanner module. Exact upgrade statistics are unknown until installation is complete. Could be scan radius or increase in the value of discovery data. Like, that's a bit of a garbage one. I guess I'll install it. Oh, right. I guess I'll hang on to it. <laughs> Don't have room for it. Thanks, guy. Thanks a lot. Um. Gold. Demand is down a little bit, but... I don't care. Sell the whole lot. Sell the silver as well. Okay. And then buy... Microprocessors. I need four more, I think, right? Refined chromatic metal from the copper, and then finally as an installation. Easy peasy. There's that.
warp cell warp hyper core okay finalize installation should be oh, okay return to ship yeah fine And I already got a fuel recipe, I think. Auto diagnostics report. Oh, hi. Hyperdrive's empty, though. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps I really will find answers out there amidst the stars, but without warp cells, I shall be going nowhere. I need to find a source of antimatter. Tune scanner to antimatter, I guess. In your pocket. <laughs> yeah, thanks, game. Scan from out here, maybe. Really? Uh, okay. I'll head there quick. Pretty close by my home. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Right, like everything is here. It's nuts. Rusted metal. Put it in high capacity. Oh. Well, you have dihydrogen jelly. Okay. Hey, another microprocessor. What a guy. So my inventory is full. My starship is also full. My starship annoyingly has 12 gold that apparently didn't sell. I can, however, craft... I can craft a thing. I'm gonna get rid of this nitrogen. Just craft a warp cell. Saves me a bit of trouble. There's another antimatter in here, apparently. Which I'll take, because I need an antimatter for A, more fuel, but B, that drop pod. Icky. So, you. A lot of goop. We'll discard it. The Eye of the Anomaly. 
Terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single, unblinking crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange massage. Hmm. You will find us when the time is right. 16. Well, look at that. We can just make antimatter. Fucking strange. Chromatic metal and condensed carbon. It's actually pretty easy to create antimatter, it turns out. Fantastic. So craft antimatter, assemble antimatter housing. Oxygen and ferrite. Though. All right, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> craft warp cell. I did it. Craft more. There, I got I got two of them now. And then warp drive. Warp drive, hyperdrive, a warp cell. Bang. At forty percent now. Launch into space and test interstellar systems. Oh jeez, the potential cliffhanger. I could leave this on. In space, access the gallery map from the quick menu. Move along specific paths or browse and choose your own route. It requires warp fuel. Some systems require hyperdrive upgrades to access. X for the map. Galaxy map. <laughs> Galaxy map. Hmm, okay. good. So, that's, that's where we are. Um, but much like Hyperion, we can go pretty much anywhere we want. It is pretty goddamn massive. Just keeps going. <laughs> 19,000 light years away. Ugh. That's bright. I don't know what that is out there. Um, Destination Galactic Core. I'm not sure where we are. The top left thing, is that even updating? No, yeah, it is. Slowly. Very slowly. I guess this is the core over here, yeah. A long fucking ways away. Tell you what. I think it's a little bit bigger in this than it is in Imperion, though, yeah? Re explore. Galactic core. No filter life form. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
Back to us, though. What a thing. Deselect current system. Select current system. Expand. Ugh. Does it want me to choose anywhere? Just warp to another system with X. Okay. Okay. So deselect the system. So wherever I want. It says to follow the paths, but that's towards the galactic core. Is what that's getting at. Which, yeah, that just kind of spirals and works its way around. An anomalous signal is blocking our warp there, though. Uh, so let's just head... to this guy? How about this guy? Anomalous signal blocking warp. Ugh. Mano, but it looks so cool. I was hoping for one that doesn't just have a yellow sun. What about anomalous signal? Anomalous signal. I think I have to find like a basic... A basic bitch system. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay, fine. Yeah, fine. This guy, then. Make it so. I'm so proud of our little ship. It's doing so good. Um, oh, that's a space station. Okay. Guidance system malfunction. Rot row. Searching for other routes. Sure, why not? Unknown planet. It's U Ustoshiv the third. It's got frost crystals, copper, dioxide, magnetized ferrite. Um, God, our ship is loud. Rauro. Looting Entity Poeto. It forces us to fight you. It forces you to pay. Please help us. Do it. Do as it wishes. I like money. And our suffering before we end ours. Pulse drive disabled. Uh, can't. Uh, don't have the sensitivity to do that. Entity Yeti. Oh, it's just the one? Oh. Okay. Okay, moving on. 
Um, to the space station. And then I gotta get going. Tomorrow, probably check out that ocean planet there. It looks a bit like Earth. Oh.